Hello and welcome back to Azure Gods. The bandits are dead and let's see what the hell they were up to in this uh, tower. When the fight is over, you glance at the tower. It's not that far. The sounds of battle must have carried well. Yet nobody rushed to your aid. On the other hand, what can a guard or two do against a gang of thugs? Still wondering about that, you tell your companions to ride to the tower. You can try. <clears throat> That tower seems like an overkill for a stable, and <clears throat> what the hell is that? You find the gates to the tower open and no one on watch. You turn to Krieger confused. Krieger looks around. <clears throat> That's what you fucking call guard duty? Where's everyone? Stain should be on watch. No one more reliable than him. And where's the tall guy? What in Terminium is going on here? For fuck's sake! Stein! <clears throat> you cut your friend short. Stop yelling. We don't need to attract attention. Go see if anyone is seriously injured. Kriku shakes his head. No big deal. Just scratch. You rushed at them like a wild beast. Right. And everyone followed suit. After everything we've seen, I'll tear this filth to pieces with my bare hands. <coughs> You agree. That's almost what happened. All the filth that was adornment in our lands is now snowing, showing its ugly face. I'm sure, well, let's have a look around. I like this place. Alright, oh, that's true. I suppose we should check out the watchtower first. Come on, man, stop with the grunting. Like, mm, mm. Examining the tower, there's blood on the rocks and the gate's broken. From the inside, it seems someone was killed here. Krieger? <clears throat> uh, someone, you say? I think it's obvious. It was either a toll collector, the second watchman, or Stein. I forgot who I dispatched here, but... Where are the bodies? Screw that! Torn? Let's just go! Wide words, uh, Captain. Uh, what are you standing around? Uh, waiting for those madmen to storm out of the city? But where should we run off to? No, we must first get to the bottom of this. I don't want to get into even more shit. We are knee deep, as it is. Uh, what do you say, Krieger? Where to? You know, I want want you guys to feel that you guys are part of this. But also, I'm the one who's calling the shots. Well, returning to the city is definitely a bad idea. We barely got away with our lives. I think we need to look for the sacred stones. It's not that far, especially on horseback. You think you're smart? The moment people realize what's going on, they all rush to the manier. Let's ride to the stone further away, shall we? Not many people there. Just a small stockade. At the nearest stone, you'll have too many pilgrims from the neighboring villages and towns. It's too risky. Who knows how long our strikes are gonna last. What if we only got a day left, or something? Let's get to the nearest man here, by the village near Dimford. <clears throat> what do you think, Fisk? Maybe it isn't the reaping at all. We need to hide. Always works for me, at least. You're an idiot. Last time I asked that question. Just like you hide your... <clears throat> Just like you hide your ass during one of our benders, huh? How did that get you? You're a fucking idiot. Fisk, if it's the reaping, you can't hide. Doubly true if, if it isn't. Don't worry, they'll easily find us. Why would they be looking for us? Not like we've done anything wrong. Killed a couple of city folk, but it was just like self-defense. Yeah, try telling that to the city officials. I'd rather control my own fate. Thank you very much. I don't want to crawl into a hole and get burned to a crisp like some kind of pest. I think that's odd. That's that. We need to send a couple of soldiers to look for Stein. Let them scan the outskirts for a bit. Alright. <clears throat> what is this? Oh, nice. Hold, Brett, flit. You got you got some pep. Snoop around. You command. Uh check by the river. Just be sneaky about it. If you don't find anyone near the tower, we'll ride on. Let me go with Hode. Shop suggests. 
Who knows what kind of crazies lurk around the tower? Our boys will be... They'll need me to fend them off. Ah, the soldiers draw their weapons and circle the tower. You suspect that Flint is still often dead? He's avoiding eye contact with you and Krieger? Did you see that, pal? Yes, Krieger. Didn't know Flint was the sensitive type. I hope he doesn't do anything stupid. Krieger shrugs. <laughs> Don't mind him. He may be sensitive, but he's no fool. You know the nickname he got in the squadron? Smartass. He was always the smart fellow. Not in the same way as you saw, but rather in a bookish sort of way. You shake your head. Youngins always have to keep an eye on them until all the fighting toughens up. Are they coming back? That was fast. Isn't time with the boys? Let's go talk to him. Wait, what? Stein? Wait! Stein, what's up? <clears throat> Buckling his belt with uh, shaking hands. Is this an inception, uh, Krieger? What's going on? It's been a wasteland for half a day, and now there's a crowd. Uh, why didn't you stay in a tavern? Why are you so livid, chief? What the fuck is going on here? Why is the gate open? Stein breaks into a grin and shuts one wing of the gate, scorch on its front side, is uh, half of the same mark you saw on Obvious's gate. Drawing his sword. Stop! Don't touch the second one! Do you wanna kill us, you son of a bitch? You waken the curse if you do it. Calm down, Krieger. Don't touch the gate! No, no, no. Don't touch the gate, Krieger. I mean, uh, Stein. With a frustrated laugh. <laughs> hey, did you shit your pants? There's nothing else to fear. We already cursed. See the ice I put on my neck? It helps me endure this abominable. Abominable. Abonim. What the hell? There's Mark. One shot? No, you keep the ice. Where did you even get it? <sighs> Sprinkle some of that blasted ice on your pants. Fuck me. The town gun's crazy, the guards are killing each other, we've just gotten out of that shit, and now we're deep in it again. <laughs> so it's like everywhere, then it all matches, nobody escaped it, however, I did not abandon my post. Good for you. Didn't you technically do that? Then tell us what happened at your post, this mark didn't draw itself. I don't fiddle with symbols like temple sissy. All I know is that I saw a scary creature, me and the tall collector both collapsed where we stood. Ramblin was upstairs and I heard him fall too. Luckily, he didn't fall out of the window. This fiend got the gate and drew some kind of mark. As It it, 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 it isn't as if, if he burned it in. My neck felt like it was on fire. He bared his great teeth and told us we were all done for. Well, as for the words, maybe I'm just seeing things. Has he been training here or something? Shit! You're lucky. Uh, you're still in one piece, Stein. Didn't you, you hear us calling you? I don't care who was calling. I was picking ice left under the stones. If you don't believe me, hold the knife over the fire and press it to your neck. Then we'll see how you respond. So you're picking guys on your watch? Don't you have any guys to do? Come on. Why he, Why are you giving him so much shit? <laughs> watch the language, soldiers. You want me to check non-existent carts? The only people I saw today were Rask, the merchant, with that weird axe of his, and a dozen guards chasing after him. Not a single piece of luggage. Where's the second watchman? And the tall guy? Oh, about the tall guy. <clears throat> You see, there was an accident. He even berserk and attacked me. I, I fought for dear life and I had to finish him off in the end. This corpse is behind the tower. Strange, isn't it? To live like a man and die like a beast? Ramley must have bolted. He must have uh, gone ho to his home village or of Dimford, the one by the man here. I don't blame him. As far as I'm concerned, he's better off than the toll collector. How do you manage to break the seal? Piece of shit. Ramlin was inside. He got so scared he tumbled down the stairs and knocked out the rotten gate with his stupid head. 
That's when we felt the scorching heat. The Toad Collector went crazy right away. Luckily for Ramlin, he attacked me first. His eyes were bulging and he was foaming at the mouth. Alright. Grab your stuff and come with us. I want to live uh, the rest of my days in such a way that I won't feel shameful. I will not abandon my post. And neither should you. You're an idiot! Stein, come on with us! So... What are you accusing us, Stein? I'm the bloody guard captain and he's a guard captain as well? I don't know. I seem to be the boss here. I, I'm supposed to be retired. <clears throat> I won't judge you, Thorne, especially considering that you're retired. However, shouldn't Krieger be in charge of the soldiers and guards in Abyss? Hmm... Well, there's not much to guard here. There, there. And kill your own guards. And the townspeople who are already killing each other. No, I'm not going to take part in this massacre. I suppose we just have a bigger fish to fry. Than try to, uh... Well, it makes no bloody sense to try to defend, uh... An empty town. All we would achieve is, like, run out of, uh... Sparky Stone. And we would go ca crazy and kill ourselves. Oh yeah, be respectful. Get off it, Krieger. Everyone has his own truth. No, no, no. Okay, Krieger is the captain of Guardstein. Yeah, he knows what the hell he's doing. <clears throat> More like Captain Coward. He should be sorting out the mess in town, not running to safety. I manage it myself, though, and thanks. And Krieger will definitely spend the rest of his days behind bars. Then you can just drop dead right here. You don't want to get... Uh, to the man here in two days and stay alive? Eat shit then. Nothing to do here anymore. Don't, let's go. Damn. So tough. Ramblin. The young guard could have returned to his village near Manier Valley. Alright, let's see. The import village near Manier Valley. If Stain is right, the second guard must have run off uh, there to his family. What say you, Krieger? What kind of person is Ramblin? I'm not a bad guy, but I ain't worth uh, rat's puke as a guard. A fucking wimps, what he is. All fancy schmancy. His only family is his grandma. The black one. You know, the vandals. You can tell she raised him by herself. The guy's got no father figure. Damn. We need a wimp. We need everybody. Why did you take him with you, then? Was it pity, or did someone ask you to? Who'd give... A crap about him. As I said, he only got his grandma. As for why I took him in, uh, it's really boring on patrol, you know. And Ramblin knows all the fairy tales in the world, it seems. Every guard wanted to be on duty with him, just to hear what he's got to say. That's pretty important. Not going mental. Alright. <laughs> That's what peace, uh, that's what uh, too much peace does uh, to the guards. Whatever. Having someone from Manir, a village certainly wouldn't hurt. At least uh, we have somewhere to spend the night, if it comes to that. Okay, uh, sure. Let's continue our journey. <clears throat> you ride a couple of leagues away from the tower. Krieger calls you over. I have a feeling that... The sergeant's going to blame us for the murder of the toll collector. Wouldn't it be safer just to kill him? Whoa, 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 what? What? Krieger, that's way out of line. You're about to tell Krieger off, but then stop yourself. On one hand, Stein isn't a bad person, despite his insufferable demeanor. On the other hand, you don't need guards chasing you. This is dumb. No, we're not gonna do that. Forget about his suggestion. I mean, like, I get it, Stein. People are very, very stupid. But this is the bloody end of the world as far as we know it. So, <clears throat> no, we're not gonna do that. You look at Krieger and shake your head. Sorry, pal. Killing someone accidentally or in self-defense is one thing, but killing an innocent just so he doesn't get in the way is out of the question. I'm disappointed that you 
uh, brought that one up. The captain scratches his head. You're probably right. I'm just getting too jumpy from all the shit we've been through. I'll soon be lashing out the people myself. Gotta let it go before some other bullshit finds its way to my head. Yeah. I mean, I get it. In a way, it's not like just... Yeah, I, I mean, I get it. But still, it's 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 really, really not a good idea. Come on, man. We can't be that selfish. So we can go to Dead Spring or Seven Creek. Hmm. Uh, looks like no matter where we go. Let's see. A green glade encircled by mountain pines, infamous for its uh, abundance of venomous snakes. A narrow creek flowing uh, through it disappears into the rocky hillside. Okay, what is this? Wait. An ancient spring lined with uh, stone slabs complete with water through. Dried out many years ago. And it's still called that. It's called that spring. How how many are those years? <laughs> because places don't get renamed that often or that soon. So I don't know. Let's go toward the dead spring. I don't know. Fuck the snakes, right? <laughs> okay, we're gonna go toward the dead spring. Seriously, we couldn't go past the bridge? That's kind of crazy. In the distance, you see a loaded wagon pulled by six horses. Judging by the bales and crates uh, tied to its roof, it belongs to a wandering merchant. Though, the armed guard is fit for a prince. You take a closer look and recognize Mules, a money changer from Albius. Hey! You catch up to the wagon and greet uh, Mules. Uh, he waves at you, smiling. You learn that he decided to move to Ursus with his uh, family and possessions. He moved out before the bell rung, so he knows nothing about the reaping. Rob him! Nah, 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 nah. Yes, 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 yes. Look at the merchandise. <clears throat> Cracked emerald. What is this? 300 gold per battle? In trading guilds, merchants often pay wizards to have their coin purses enhanced for extra money and luck. Some even turn to sorcerers licensed by the Temple of Divine Retribution. R Rob Duff's rune. Okay, what is, what have we here? That's not a great one. Because this kind of ends you... Ends up giving you like a plus three. This gives you a plus two. Contains... 20 Strixes. What is this? Uh, what? Increases health by 15 to all enemy units and increases health by 15 to all party members. Oh, that's actually very interesting. Uh, you can use this when your party members are wounded and uh, your en enemy is already finished off, but it's a bit of a win more card or just uh, something that uh, allows you to catch up. Wait a second. Zero out of five fragments for this card, so we need to find a lot of fragments. Increase energy to all enemy units and energy to all party members. Uh, that's all we got. So I think we gotta take the letter purse because that seems like a good way to get more money in the long run. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we gotta take that. And also we're gonna take maybe some some strixes. I don't know if how important is that, but let's just do that. Alright, that's all we got. I can try buying the miraculous healing, but frankly, it's prob not too interesting. Rob the money changer. Ah I don't know. We're not too desperate. We're not gonna rob Mules. God damn it. It's it's tough to be a bad guy when I'm traveling my daughter. Mules and his guards see you off with a distrustful stare, but you soon leave the wagon far behind. I suppose I didn't tell them the the value of uh, stones. Maybe they already know. They don't, but still. 
Hold down on Shepherd's Village, the northernmost settlement in the kingdom. Is it? Alright, let's go. Hmm. This map is big, but it's kind of hard to make out where to go. A lone horseman comes into sight on the outskirts of Dimford village. His horse barely trudges along. It looks like it galloped uh, without rest. The rider, just exhausted, doesn't notice you until you catch up to him. Krieg raises himself in the stirrups, glares at the traveler and shouts. Well, if it isn't Ramblin. Wait, you knucklehead, you. Don't you recognize your commander? <clears throat> Taken aback, the lad hunches his shoulders, but then sighs in relief when he recognizes Krieger. Hello, Captain. Krieger, what brings you here? I'm on my way home, not, not that far off, in, in fact. Krieger squints uh, to scan the nearby houses. Your village isn't going anywhere, and your horse needs some rest anyhow. You ride the poor thing to death, you bonehead. Get off before it crushes you. Ramlin gets off the horse, and the exhausted animal collapses. You give the young guard a scornful glance and dismount in order to talk to him. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Catch your breath, boy. Take it easy. Now tell me, one thing. We passed a dozen hamlets yesterday, but didn't see a single person. Do you know what's going on? I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't stop by any hamlets. In fact, I didn't stop at all. Why did you abandon your post at the tower? That seems like a, a dumb question. Have you noticed anything strange in your way? The footprints, maybe? Lots of them looks like a party on horseback, larger than yours. I, I didn't see them even though I, I rode without rest, but my guess is that that they are heading uh, for our men here. We noticed that too. I can't imagine what company this could be. It's too big for a Burkhanan patrol. Could it be bandits? I hope they don't find their way into your village. Never seen any bandits in these parts. We're not rich, and there are several bows and lances in every home. They lose more than they gain, and there are also watch around many here. They would come to our aid. Alright, we'll deal with those mysterious horsemen later. How did you ever manage to ride for so long? Well, I know a sort of incantation. Box you up a bit. I learned it from my grandma. She's the one, uh... Of the Vandals. Uh, they know their stuff. Hey. Right. Can you buck us up? <clears throat> Not yet. Too tired. Besides, I'm a bit of a weakling compared to my grandma. She's very skilled and uh, she has also got special powers and uh, poultices. We'll definitely see your grandma on the way back. I hope she t sells us some potions to keep us healthy. Why did you abandon your post? We've spoken to Stein already. He told about the great creature, about you breaking the gate, and about the crazy toll collector too. We want to hear your side of the story. Well, maybe you should just open up by not... Uh, 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 just saying what we heard already. We would more likely get something uh, original here. So the toll collector went mad, but Stein's alright. Gods be praised. I was afraid to go back because I thought... The two of them might kill me. What now? Do I have to go back to the watchtower? Go visit your grandma first. It's not fair. You manage on food. Oh, it's it's not far. You manage on food. Consider it a short leave from Stein. Tell me, why didn't you go to Albius for help? I was so shaken with fright. I, I chose the familiar path to my home village without thinking. When I came to my senses, it was easier to keep going. My grand was a great healer. Maybe she'll help me with the mark on my neck. And if she can't, the man is nearby. So the plague's gotten to you too. I doubt the village healer can cure it. Go straight to the man here after you visit your grandma. It's safer that way. We don't have a spare horse, but so you have to walk, like Krieger suggested. Oh, alright. Well, we have to set out. Yeah, of course. I'll drop by grandma and... Head to the Manir. I, I suppose I return to Stein afterwards. Don't think uh, me a deserter, Captain. Just go already. No one's accusing you of anything. Visit your grandma or return to the watchtower. We are too preoccupied to care. I don't care. <clears throat> hmm. Yep. 
You pass a village. Its empty streets strike you as odd. You're getting a foreboding feeling, but you shrug it off. Right now, your only goal is the Meneer. Everything else comes second. These villagers must have gathered near the, the Sacred Stone. Fritz says, uh, <clears throat> It's a holiday after all. I, you agree, relieved. Indeed, villagers uh, near the Meneers traditionally boast spring festivals. Austin thought you don't immediately hear someone addressing you. Flit calls to you. Well, come on. Flit calls to you again, pointing at the road. There's something smoking there. And scavengers circle back, uh, circle the black plumes. You slow down to take a closer look. This game is awesome. <laughs> uh oh. No, 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 Yeah, that looks pretty grim. Wait, what? It isn't where we're going? Yeah, it is. It's like, yeah, that's just something on the way. <clears throat> A heap of corpses rest in the middle of the road. So many bodies, men and women, old and young, even children. There's a scaffold and some spears sticking out of the ground. The smell of blood makes you lightheaded. You trot closer, pulling back on the reins. Scorched and torn asunder, all these people died without making a sound. Their mouths choked with dirt. Heck limbs lie nearby. You turn around slowly. Gladda stands close by, clutching the hilt of her sword. The others stand further back, frozen in place. Gladda sobs. She's petrified, unable to get a word out. She runs off on limp limbs, sick to her stomach. You order your man to help Glada and keep their distance. A quiet hall draws your attention. You notice a pregnant woman struggling under the pile of corpses. She's been severely mut mutilated and won't last long without aid. It seems the woman will deliver her child within a matter of hours. If you leave her here to die, the child dies with her. But if you bring her along, she will be a great burden, not to mention the baby, if it survives, that is. I don't know, this is tough. We gotta try to help. Putting her out of her misery. That doesn't seem right. We gotta try to help. You wade through the corpses and pull the woman out uh, from under the pile. Your companions come to your aid. You don't have a healer, and it's pointless to return to the village. These corpses are all uh, that's left of it. Seems like you have to bring the woman to the manier. Maybe we can just dump her somewhere. Seems more correct than just uh, killing her. You stop your company on the bridge. There are suspicious figures on the other side. The watchman's bodies hang nearby, and the man itself is soaked with blood. You see a man being forced onto the stone. He then falls to the ground, writhing in pain. Flit grows pale. Aren't they answers? The old chronicles call them abominations. I read about them, the wielders of enchanted blades, and capable of flight. The time of reaping is upon us. You draw your sword. <clears throat> they noticed us. Be on your guard. They're no fools. Gathering near the bridge. We have to dismount. Don't all of you swarm the bridge. You only get in each other's way. Glada, look after the wounded girl. As you give your orders, Flit rushes to the bridge, yelling some nonsense about courage. Trying to remain composed, you order everyone to attack and run after Flit yourself. However, he makes it to the bridge first, with the others several steps behind. I'm gonna have a fight where Flit is the first one. Oh, someone can level up. And Gleda is not gonna come, right? Wait, what? Oh, I opened up her menu. I can't take a Flit, right? Can't take a Krieger, but I can put in Gleda. Damn. Robbed. Okay, who needs that? 
who needs health more than energy? Like this guy? Code the assassin? Yeah. The money. Uh, let's give it to Tornbrennan. And let's level him up as well. Uh, what? This what? Anger? Increases your attack and increases your defense by one, but it actually ends your turn. And with this, it's gonna increase your attack by two, but it still ends your turn, so it's a dumb, dumb move. Uh, this skill is awesome, but also you don't have access to it first turn. So how's it get any better? Uh, lower cooldown and less activation time. Really? Okay. Oh, that's the cooldown. Uh, does this mean that it's gonna be available right from the get-go? Increase your... what is this? Anger? It's the same skill, right? It's gonna increase your defense as well. Screw that skill. Plus one to walking. That's actually very interesting. I'll just go with aggression. That's his best skill. I don't know if he can... Okay, let's just pick up aggression here. If, if he can actually pull it off first round, that would be epic. Yeah, looks like it's properly distributed right now. This is, these are our cards as well. <clears throat> I suppose you can have five cards and they can have uh, different turns that they, they, they can be used at. I don't know what that is, actually. Anyway, this is a good enough time to take a break before we go for the big fight against the heavy metal band. So, see you guys next time.